and welcome to Upper Body Strength and Tone with a Band. So you may have purchased something that looks like this at home. So I've got here a green one, which is a lighter intensity, and a red one, which is a harder intensity. Um, I've done banded classes um, before, but I've used a Pilates band, the one that doesn't have a handle. But what I find with those, they're great because um, you can just scrunch them up and you have, have them in a bag or whatever. Um, but I, what I find with um, the handled ones, that I get a nice grip, yeah, I get a nice grip of the, the band as opposed to when I'm like this and often you can feel your forearms getting sore and you're cre creating tension that you don't actually want to create. So I thought I'd do a, a class for you using a handle band, handle band. Obviously, if you don't have a handle band, just use your Pilates band, you know, the band that, uh, you know, the big stretchy resistance tubey bands, um, and you'll, you'll hold on to them, I say, but these are really, really useful to have. Um, I'll use the green one for most of it, which is easier one, yeah. So normally they come in a set, I would imagine that you've probably got an easy, light and medium. What you also need to watch for is, as they get worn, yeah, that you get little tears in them, uh, so just be careful that you make sure that your band is uh, in good working order. Uh, you also want to make sure um, that when you're holding holding the, the band, um, that you're holding it with a good good grip. Yes, yeah, so you've got a good grip of the band. So I'll do a little bit of a warm up. Yet yeah, I'm going to use the band to warm up too. So all I'm going to do is take the band and hold it in half. So this is upper body strength and tone with a handled band. As I said before, if you don't have a handle band, that's fine. So I'm gonna do like a figure of eight. You can use any band you wanted to, even a pair of tights. I see it's quite nice to have a handle band. Um, they're really useful. Yeah. So up and down again. It's just getting the upper body prepared for all the exercises we're going to do. Okay, let's shift the weight side to side. It's just a short blast of a class, approximately 20 minutes in duration. So you could tag this class on to another one. I'll use it as a standalone. Up and down. You can see my feet are moving all the time. I'm just getting my heart rate gently up at the same time. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of a pressure and I'm going to pull the band apart at the top. That's it. And I'm going to pull it at chest height for a couple and back down, so I'm coming all the way up, marching on the spot, pull it a couple of times at the top, and down, and pull it a couple of times at the chest, and down, last time, all the way up, pull a couple of times, and down, and chest a couple of times, and down. Figure of eight again, a little bit of cracking, again, I'm still moving, I'm still keeping mobile, yeah. So get the heart rate up and get a little bit warmer, Four more, three more, two more. Last time, twist round. Four more, three more, two more. Last time, we take the band up. Now watch the handles that they're not flapping about too much. Maybe take a hold of those. And we're gonna come up, round and back down. And the same again, up, round. Two more in this direction. Last time. Now we're going to go the opposite way. That's it. And again, just getting everything loosened off. We're ready for our exercises. Yep. Okay, up and down again. That's it. Four more. Three more. Two more. And the last one, take it to the top. And um, we'll down to each side, getting a little bit lower as we go, and then we're going to take it chest height. We're working our way down. As you can see I'm using a little bit of my lower body strength, and then I'm zigzagging all the way up at the top again, and then I'm coming down. Last time we'll go all the way up. And last time, all the way down. Fantastic. Okay, if you need to, grab yourself some water. 
So you are going to have a firm and comfortable grip of the band. You also need to, when you're standing on the band, make sure it's nice and secure. Yes, you're going to need some upper body strength there to make sure that the band stays in place. The last thing you want to do is to ping out. Now I've put this in sections. I've got an A, B and a C. Yeah? In each section, I've got three exercises. So we'll concentrate on a section at a time. Yeah? So I'm going to start with A, yeah? <laughs> funnily enough. And the three exercises I've chosen for there are a row where you stand with both feet. And I'm just demonstrating at the moment. So you can follow me and set up. Yeah? Let me just have a little practice of this. Yeah? A cross over the front. I'm going to show you from the side. Yeah? I'm sitting back and I'm pulling back and I'm going to target upper back muscles yeah? and the back of the shoulders. Yeah? So boy, one for stops in the back. That's the X row, I'll call that. Now, if I was to stand up straight, yeah, we'll do this later on, that's shoulders I'm hitting. But because I'm bent over from the hips, so we'll get some strength work through the legs, yeah, and I'll hold it out slightly in front and pull it back, yeah. Keep the, tongue, the chin tucked in. Yeah, so that's what we're going for. We're going for the X row for the back. From there, we're going into a lateral raise. Now that's when we take it out to the side, yeah? But the further away from the body, the harder it will be. I'm going to try and keep the length through the neck, i.e. not bunch up here, yeah? So I'm only going to use one foot in the band because I want a little bit more length in it because it's going to be too hard for me to have two feet in. If you find you only get to there, your band is too tight, get a lighter band or be like me and just have one foot in, yeah? So the longer the band is, the easier it's going to be. I want this nice and slow and controlled. I want you to brace tummy muscles, yeah? So imagine somebody's going to kick you in the stomach. You want to tense the muscles up in most of your body so you can almost get a full body workout from this, even though we're targeting the shoulders and the lateral raise. Now the last one from there is a bicep curl, yeah? So I'm going to stand a little bit further forward so you can see so this is the really important bit, is that imagine that this portion of your arm is glued to your side, yeah? I'm going to curl up, palm faces up, take it down and rotate down. So you can see thumbs are pointing that way, yeah? But then they point out to the sides as I come all the way up and all the way down. What I often see is this, yeah? Watch, aggravates the joints and really doesn't target the muscles that we're after. We're targeting the biceps, yeah? So by me and two, yeah, there's your biceps. While we're working the biceps, the triceps will stay in place, yeah? So they'll fix the arm in place. But it's difficult for them to do that if you have them all the way out to the side, yeah? This is not the exercise we're after, yeah? We want them nice and close and controlled, just as slow on the way down as up. So that's our three exercises. So our first one, we only need two feet in, we cross over the band. I'm going to show you from a side view. Yep, I'm sitting back and down, my arms a little bit out in front, and we're going to go for 10 repetitions. So I'll do three, two, one. So pull back, keep that head nice and steady. Two, three, Four. Feel that shoulder blades pinch at the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. We're on to the second exercise, the lap raise. Remember, I would suggest taking one foot out unless you've got a super easy band. I'm going to have a split stance here. I'm bracing the core muscles. Three, two, one. Lateral raise. Low and controlled. It's not about the speed. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Keep racing those abs. Two more. Last one. There we go. Now you can step on another foot in for your bicep curls or just keep one foot in if you feel it's going to be too tough for you. 
palms, the um, palms are facing towards the thighs. Yep, to start with, take a good grip of the band, make sure the feet nice and secure through the band. Raise the abs again, slight bend in the knees so that you're not arching your back. Three, two, one. Palm faces up, all the way at the top, and all the way down. All the way up, feeling tension on both parts of the moves, i.e. it's just not on the way up that you're going to work, it's on the way down. If you want to, you can keep them facing all the way up and all the way down without rotating them, yep. And this is a harder version, yep. This is five and halfway. Keep it slow. Six. What you'll find if this is too heavy, you'll end up rocking back and you're really going to hurt yourself. So please, just have one foot in and make it easier on yourself. Two more. Last time, we're repeating that, all of that three exercises yet, so I'm crossing it over. I'm going to face the front now. I'm sitting back yet. Three, two, one. So we've got that bent over, X row, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. I'm taking one foot out for my lateral raise. Yeah, make sure your band's not crossed over now. Three, two, one, go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That foot back in from my bicep curls. Three, two, one, go. All the way up and all the way down. Slowly up, slowly down. Remember to breathe, it does help. <laughs> one more, start halfway. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Better last round. The X comes in. I'm going to face the opposite way. I'm bent over. Yep. Three, two, one. Go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Comes out my lateral raise, third and final round. Make sure it's not crossed. Three, two, one, go. Now, if you feel it's getting too much, I suggest bending the elbow so, and not taking it as far away from the body as you were before. Last three, two. One, take your feet in, bicep curls. Very last time, making sure that top of the arms are fixed. Making sure you're not rocking back and forward. The body should be lovely and still. The only thing is moving are my arms. Yep. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. Two more. And last time. Excellent. Woo, that's A. We're on to B now. So I'm going to do what's called a band pull apart. So this is the one that you don't really need the handles for. Yeah. So I'm going to pull it apart at chest tight. Yeah. Let it become a little bit more still. Pulling it apart. I feel the shoulder blades come together. And I release. Yeah. So that's band pull apart. Target and upper back. From there, we're going to overhead press. These are super hard. Yeah. So you can do singles. 
our doubles. Remember that foot stays nice and firm through the band or you're going to be in trouble if it pings out. Yep. Okay, that's your overhead press. And our last one, our tricep kickback. Now I'm going to put both feet in. I'm putting my thumbs just on the end of the handlebars. Pulse, pulse, release. Pulse, pulse, release. Yep. Pulse, pulse, release. Target in the triceps. Okay. So our band pull apart so you don't need the handles for that. If your band's super easy and you're going to find this too easy, I would double up your band. Yep. Yeah? But I would imagine single to start with will be fine. Three, two, one. Go. Pull apart. Turn in. Two, three, four, five, keep the length through the neck, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The overhead press comes next. Yeah, so I'm standing on my band. I'm only going to stand with one foot because this is going to be super hard for me. Yep, three, two, one, go. Overhead, down. Five and a half, we are going to singles for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm putting two feet in for my tricep kickbacks. Thumbs to the top, three, two, one, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Woo! That's B. Start again. Band pull apart. Three, two, one, go. So it's just a quick blast for upper body. Just sculpt the upper body. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we stand on the band. Again, one foot probably. Nice and secure. Three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four. It's getting hard for me now. It's halfway. Try and keep good technique to the finish. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll face this way for you. Two feet in, triceps. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Well done. One more round to do a B. So band pull apart. Maybe make sure that the ends aren't going to be hitting you. Three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, excellent. Oh, I'm going to struggle with this overhead press. I know I am. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Foot on. Three, two, one. Go. Two, three, four, five. Halfway. I'm going to half. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, I go to kickbacks, yep. Yeah? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. You're going to get a seat for the next one. Um, we're going to do the seated row. Yes, yeah, so the band's going to go around your feet. Now, be super careful with this one. With a Pilates band, with a resistance band, it's flat. It's a lot less likely. So if you've got one of those, you might want to use that here. Obviously, I'm just going to use this one. But it can roll up and down and ping out. Yeah? And it's not funny if it does that. 
I'm crossing over the band, I've got the shortest legs ever. Yeah, now if I was to pull from here, it would be really easy for me. I'm gonna to have to pull from here, yeah. You decide if it's enough for you, you may probably got a lot longer legs than I have, but maybe longer arms too, yeah. Okay, so we've got the row here. Okay, I'm just demonstrating at the moment, yeah. The second exercise, yeah, is a crossover again. Yeah, and it's an upright row this time. So I'm going to stand both feet on the band nice and secure. Yeah. So we've done the row where we were here. Yeah, that was it. Now I'm upright and that's going to hit my shoulders. Yeah. Which are still struggling from that overhead presses. And the last one, we're going to twist to take, keep the band in the cross position. No, let's take it out actually. Yeah, it's easier if you take it out. Feet wide, tension through the band. Yeah. There's not so much tension, there's tension, arms are straight. Twist, twist, center, twist, twist, center. You'll get some strength work through the waist and in the upper body, into the arms as well. Okay, so first one, let's get down on the floor. Make sure that band's secure. It's the most important bit, really. It's making that secure, I'm crossing over. I'm not holding onto handles because I'm so short. I'm holding a bit further down to make it harder or I could swap over the red band, sitting up onto my sitting bones. Here we go, three, two, one. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, sit up nice and tall for me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Excellent. We'll come up to standing. Maybe you'll manage to keep your feet in. Yeah. Crossing over and it's an up right row. Get ready to go. Three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Nine, ten, take that cross out. Keep tension on the band. We'll twist to each side, slight bend in knee, brace the core. Three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, crikey, I'm really feeling the upper body is getting a good pump here with these exercises. Simple but effective. Okay, round number two, sit down. Round over, cross over, make sure it's not going to slide. Three, two, one. One, two, sit down nice and tall. Keeping my feet in, I've got the upright row next, super hard, three, two, one, go. Leading with the elbows, the elbows come up first, not the hands. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, well done, just about there. Okay, tension on the band. Three, two, one. Twist, centre. Twist, centre. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just have one more round to do, a little stretch, and we are finished. Okay, get this round into position. We're crossing over. Three, two, one, go. Three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not looking forward to this next bit. My shoulders are struggling now. Okay. Upright. Three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Well done, that's us done. Just a quick stretch. You can make these stretches a little bit longer as you've got more time. Just, just a basic stretch out. One arm up and back down. Switch over. Push out. All the way up, chest stretch. Shake it all out. And that's us done. Upper body blast with a handle band. Thank you for joining me.